What's up, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Egg Plants. Egg Plants, Egg Plants. Okay, uh, today we're doing another Summoner's War video. We're going to take a look at the new Secret Dungeon. Three Star Grim Reaper Water now open. Yes, okay, I can read. Um, what's his name? Hemos? Hymos? Hemos. 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 Okay, so same old thing. We got 40 pieces. And collected some of these things. Alright, so let's take a look at Hemos. His stats are just like a normal 4 star. It's not not too high speed, not too high defense, not too high attack, and not too high HP. Uh, roughly, if you, can't even, if you can't see, I'll read it to you. 43.65 HP, 434 attack, 255 defense, and 91 speed. Okay. Why am, I, why am I saying 9-1? I said 91. 9-1. Okay, anyways. Uh, skills. Okay. Uh, Grim Scythe. Reaps the life of the enemy with a deadly scythe. Acquires additional turn if the enemy dies. So this is like a mini Rauk. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Rauk. Okay. Uh, plague. Spreads a plague to all enemies that has an 80% chance to inflict two continuous damage effects that last for two turns. Um... What is this? This is this is just like Breda, but Breda has three turns, three three dots for three turns. Yes, so it's like a mini Breda. We got a mini Rauk and a mini Breda, but uh, it you need accuracy. You need you need another twenty accuracy to get this because it's a eighty percent chance of getting the dots, and it's an AOE. All right, and we got Frozen Soul decreases the enemy's attack speed with freezing chills for three turns and freezes the enemy for one turn. So we got a attack speed buff and a freeze for one turn that is if you're playing with someone who doesn't have high resistance then that will happen okay but um, and then we got the leader skill increase attack power of all water monsters by 30 percent all right so according to what i read i see and read here i would put him as high attack for this skill and for this skill okay so i would put him as either like a violent blade fatal blade um, Rage Blade. Um, uh, I don't, th th those would be the options. I would go speed, cause look at that base speed, 91. Max four star skill and awakened, 91 speed. So I would go speed, crit damage, attack, and then the main stub stats that you want for this guy is speed, accuracy, and crit rate. So what is this? Um, 80% chance to inflict two continuous damage effects that last for two turns. So you want accuracy for uh, this guy for his second skill. Uh, no accuracy there and no accuracy there. But high attack so you can get an additional turn if the enemy dies. So just like Rauk, uh, Fatal Blade or Rage Blade or Violent Blade or whatever. Alright, so I want to take a look at... Oh yeah, by the way, he is fusion for... Um, what's his face? Makin. Makin. <laughs> Not a raccoon. Uh, Hemos. He is fusion for McKean. And McKean, you fusion for Veramos. So if you need to fuse Veramos, but you need a but you need a McKean, and you have all the monsters for McKean, but you need this guy, Secret Dungeon is for you. Yes, you, Ryan. It's for you. I'm. I know you're watching, Ryan. I don't know. Random guy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. So we're not battling. We're gonna go. T we're gonna check out the other fire monsters. We're gonna take a look at what's his name? Sai. Sai. Uh. Same first skill. Okay. Deadly swing inflicts damage to all enemies with a deadly scythe. Scythe. Poop. What? Always lands a critical hit if the enemy's HP is lower than 30% or lower. Wait. HP is 30% or lower. All right. Um. Always lands a critical hit. Okay, so you want him to have high attack, obviously, so you can get that HP lower, and then it will land as a critical hit, as always. Living Hell creates a living hell for the enemies and inflicts continuous damage and disturbs the enemy's HP recovery for three turns. So three continuous damage and three HP recovery or HP debuff, and same same leader skill increase attack power of all monsters with fire attribute. Okay, and then wind. Do I, did I pass him? I can't even see. Oh, there he is. Okay. Alright, he's next to Copper. What the heck? Alright, Heva. Um, same same base stats, really. Or base stats, that's what I meant. Uh, same first skill. Uh, this is the same as Sap of Fire 1. 
Deadly Penalty predicts the enemy's death with the Wind of Heavens. The damage increases as your HP decreases, and the cool time is removed if the enemy dies. Okay, so this is like Trevor, his passive. The damage increases as your HP decreases, and the cool time is removed if the enemy dies. So, this is like a... What is it? It's like an Ashir and a Trevor combined for its third skills. So combine Ashir and Trevor's third skills, and this is what it is. Pretty OP. So this guy is very good. This guy can be this guy can be a tank and same leader skill. All right, light. I heard the light one is pretty um, bad. I'm just kidding. He's I heard he's pretty. I heard he's really good. All right, so there you go. Prom. Prom. Same first skill. You want high attack. Deadly Swing, uh, same second second skill except for the Water one. Uh, judgment brings in an inevitable judgment upon all enemies. AoE, stunning. Decreasing defense, the inflicted damage is proportionate to max HP. Make him a max HP tank. But look at that reusable in 8 turns. Alright, so you want high attack and high HP for this boy. And same leader skill, attack power of all monsters that are light for 30% chance, or 30, 30%. Alright, um, dark, let's take a look at the dark one, the dark side of the force, terrain. This is terrain. What is it? One, two, three, terrain. Bah! Okay, same first skill, plague, spreads a plague to all enemies, oh, this is the same as the water one. Uh, it's like a mini Breta, but two turns. 80% chance to get dots. And Doomsday, Meteorites of Doomsday fall on the enemies, and the inflicted damage increases with time. Stuns the enemy for one turn, good for TOA, and hold on, stuns the enemy for one turn if the, if the enemy is under dots. Okay, so, okay, this is good. You want this guy's violent, okay, so you, so you, you want this guy in violent blade, uh, you go for, or, um, if you have, like, a speed buff guy, like, um, Bernard, or you have like Megan, who you can, who you can get like an attack buff from. Uh, you inflict uh, continuous damage. You have violent runes on him, so he goes again, and then you stun everyone for one turn. Perfect for TOA. This guy, I would recommend him for TOA. Uh, violent Blade would be a pretty good, pretty good one for him. Or you can just team team him up with Breda, and he'd be he'd be all right. So yeah, what is this? Oh yeah, I am the Okay, um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. FYI, we have another video coming up today. We're going to be doing a mess around of Pokemon Coliseum. Me and Kane will be doing that, so stay tuned for that. That'll be probably around like 6 or 7. I don't know who's watching this or where you are, but I'm, I'm in California right now, and you can figure what time 6 or 7 is for your location. So if you're in California, you're in luck, watch... At, I'm pretty sure it'll be around 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock it'll be Pokemon Coliseum. Stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, to, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. John.